Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a mid-size pickup from Mitsubishi, the Strada Athlete 4x4, and a compact SUV crossover from Subaru, the XV GT Edition with EyeSight. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two compact SUVs, the Hyundai Tucson CRDI GL and the Kia Sportage GT Line. On Autopedia, we'll talk about a vehicle's shock absorbers, and together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the launch of the new Toyota Hilux as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. Voting for the next Automobile of the Year is extended. To be part of the 2020-2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Just log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2020. Vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020 2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Strata Athlete. Unleash the athlete. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Mitsubishi. The pickup wars appear to never have ceased, even with the COVID-19 pandemic changing much of the landscape of the battlefield. The campaigns are led by special edition variants. Carview takes a look at the Mitsubishi Vanguard in the pickup wars, the Strada Afi. When Mitsubishi unveiled the latest generation Strata at its global premiere in Bangkok, Thailand, the radical change of its fascia and profile stunned many, including longtime fans of the mid-sized pickup truck. Mitsubishi calls the new front design the Dynamic Shield, which has style and cues shared with other new vehicles like the Expander. Mitsubishi brought the Strata with the defense shield to the Philippines last year. The chiseled hood, 
and squared front fender that framed the headlights with halogen fog lamps and LED daylight running light, the bold grille, large lower air intake, and muscular bumper with integrated skid plate look more powerful, tougher, and more distinctive. On the road, the Strata curved out a space that is 5,300 millimeters long, 1,815 millimeters wide, and 1,795 millimeters tall, with a 220 millimeter ground clearance and a 3,000 millimeter long wheelbase. From the side, it didn't look like the Strata changed much, while the rear featured new design headlight. When it later rolled out the Strata Athlete as the new flagship model for its pickup truck line in the country, Mitsubishi blacked out the chrome features, as well as the front bumper garnish, the radiator grille, the styling bar with bed liner, the rear bumper, the tailgate grip, even the roof. The 18-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 265 by 60 R18 110H tires were also given the black treatment. The bold body graphics used thick splashes of black. The 4x4 variant of the athlete comes with a lot of the upgrades now filtering down from luxurious vehicles and becoming standard and top-of-line variants of more affordable models. There is the keyless operating system, which makes getting into the spacious cabin of the pickup more convenient. Orange-black leather upholstery with orange stitching for seats, gear shift panel and knob, and parking brake lever help the Strata live up to the athlete moniker. So do the front seats with oversized and well-cushioned side and leg supports to keep driver and passenger firmly but comfortably in place, especially when driving on rough terrain or at speed or doing both at the same time. The driver can use his eight-way power adjustable seat to find the perfect driving position. The J-Line design of the Strata cabin allows for more cabin interior room, especially favoring those in the back seat. The rear seat back features a pull-down center armrest with twin cup holders. The athlete comes with a dual-zone automatic climate control system. The leather-wrapped steering wheel features magnesium alloy paddle shifter and controls for audio and cruise control. For onboard entertainment, there's a touchscreen multimedia system with GPS navigation and complemented by a reverse camera. The Athlete is powered by the same engine, powering the more affordable Stratas. The 4N15 engine with 2.4 liter displacement, DOHC, 16 valves, variable geometry turbo, Mitsubishi innovative valve timing electronic control, and electronic common rail direct injection fuel system. The engine is rated at 181 horsepower at 3,500 RPM and 430 Newton meters. The Athlete 4x4 comes with Super Select 4-Wheel Drive 2 system. Driver gets to select from 2H or 2-Wheel Drive High Range, perfect for cruising on the highway and drives in the city, or 4H, 4-Wheel Drive High, torque splits 40-60 between front and rear wheels for better traction in drizzly and slippery conditions on highway. For more slippery and rougher road conditions, there's the 4H LC. 4WD high range, splitting torque equally between front and rear wheels. On off-road trails and rough terrain, there's the 4LLC mode, four-wheel drive, low range, with locked center differential. All these modes easily selected electronically with a turn of a dial. The Strata Athlete rides on a suspension system featuring double wishbone with coil springs and stabilizer bar in front and rigid elliptical leaf springs with telescopic shock absorber in the rear. The brake system uses front 17-inch ventilated discs and rear 11.6-inch leading and trailing drums. And for every road, weather, and driving situations, the Strata Athlete provides a multitude of driver-assist technologies, 
including, among others, Mitsubishi Active Stability and Traction Control, Forward Collision Mitigation System, Blind Spot Warning with Lane Change Assist, Rear Cross Traffic Alert, Ultrasonic Misacceleration Mitigation System, Trailer Stability Assist, Hill Descent Control, Hill Start Assist, Multi-Around Monitor with Guiding and Expected Course Line, Auto High Beam, anti-lock brake system, and electronic brake force distribution. Added safety features include reinforced impact safety evolution or rise body, seven SRS airbags, three-point ELR seat belts with double pretensioner for driver, and single pretensioner with force limiter for front seat passengers, and three-point seat belts for all three rear seat passengers. Mitsubishi describes the Strata athlete as a well-balanced road warrior, which manifests Mitsubishi's 40 years of truck engineering heritage. The battle for supremacy in the pickup wars will be an interesting one as we head to the final months of a difficult year in 2020. Many contenders have come out armed with all the latest auto and smart connectivity technology. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Welcome back to Autofocus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. AC Motors, the automotive and motorcycle distribution and retail group of Ayala subsidiary AC Industrials, handles one motorcycle and five auto brands. These are KTM and Honda, Isuzu, Volkswagen, Kia, and Maxxis. AC Motors has launched a single website, acmotors.com.ph, where you can go to check out all the six brands under its umbrella. AC Motors says the website provides a comprehensive and interactive touchpoint for customers to gain information about all six brands' products, to have queries answered, to offer feedback, and to make reservations. On the website, one can shop by brand or body type, find a dealer, request for a quotation, apply for financing, request for a test drive, make a reservation, email inquiries, and interact through live chat. The new uprated and facelifted Sangyong Rexton has arrived. Aside from the fresh honeycomb grille and titanium gray replacing the bezel color of the headlights, Sangyong's flagship seven-seat SUV comes in another special color, marble gray. It retains the premium brown quilted leather wood stitching in 4x4 trim. The 4x2 gets seat ventilation, and both arrive with the 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system, delivering crisp video and audio over six speakers, as well as LED interior lights. Also new is a sophisticated smart key fob with more new functions 
like headlamp activation and remote tailgate operation. But if you're one for being practical, Sang Young's got you covered with free five-year preventive maintenance and five-year vehicle warranty for the Rexton. The legendary Jaguar E-Type sports car, along with its worthy successor, the Jaguar F-Type 2 liter, were both available for viewing at the All British Car Showroom in Green Hills from September 18 to 25. But if you missed this, there's still a chance to check out Jaguar's iconic sports cars at BGC Boutique Showroom on 5th Avenue Corner 24th Street from September 25 to 30. Jaguar says, the F-Type still embodies the traditional Jaguar craftsmanship and is enhanced with modern contemporary design. Like its predecessor, the E-Type, it sports a distinct luxury two-seater sports car look. The Jaguar F-Type, available for viewing locally, is powered by a 300-horsepower, 2-liter, turbocharged, four-cylinder gasoline engine that also generates 400 newton meters of torque. Those interested can set an appointment before visiting the showroom or book a virtual appointment by contacting 02-8784-5003 or 63919-068-2798. Singaporean Tian Rasif is the winner of inaugural season of the Asian Dream the seven-week reality singing competition created in partnership by Subaru Asia and multi-Grammy Award winner Michael Bolton, the show's creator, executive producer, and host. As the winner, over five other singers from Asia, including Hong Kong, Malaysia, the Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam, Rasif is now a Subaru ambassador who will be joining Bolton in his Asian Dream Tour. She also won a Subaru XV. Over the course of the seven episodes, the 25-year-old Sarif bested Becky Young of Hong Kong, Carl Zarate of the Philippines, Lin Tran of Vietnam, Puva Sri Rama of Malaysia, and Sasha Ka of Thailand. They were all mentored, coached, and pushed to the limit by Michael Bolton and his co-host, Filipina singer and actress Morisset Amon, along with other celebrity guest mentors. Asian Dream. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Voting for the next Automobile of the Year is extended. To be part of the 2020-2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Just log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2020. Vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020 2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. 
Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Live Extra with the new Mitsubishi Expander Cross. Welcome back to this edition of Auto Focus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our feature to feature comparison of the latest automobile models belong to the same category on head to head. In this edition of Head to Head, we compare two compact SUVs from two automakers that can be called sister companies, the Hyundai Tucson CRDI GL and the Kia Sportage GT Line. Hyundai and Kia own shares in each other's companies. Some may say it may not be far-fetched to believe that they share more than stocks, maybe parts, other OEM stuff. One wouldn't know from looking at the Hyundai Tucson and the Kia Sportage, curbside or rolling down the streets. The Tucson, stylish but trending to be conservative. The Sportage, stylish but dynamic. But what about when one starts comparing specs and features of their top-end variants? Hyundai Tucson CRDI GL two-wheel drive DSL and the Kia Sportage GT line. The Tucson cut a classic SUV figure on the road, 4,480 millimeters long, 1,850 millimeters wide, and 1,660 millimeters tall. With a minimum ground clearance of 172 millimeters and a 2,670 millimeter long wheelbase, the five-door, five-passenger Tucson CRDI GL exterior features projector-type headlamps, heated backlight glass, chromed outside door handles, heated power adjust side view mirrors with turn signal repeaters, front fog lamps, roof rails, front and rear mud guards, clear rear combination lamp, and rear spoiler with high mount stop lamp. The Tucson comes with front McPherson struts and rear multi-link suspension. The Tucson CRDI GL was shot in 18-inch alloy wheels, wrapped by 225 by 55 R18 tires. The Kia Sportage 2.0 GT line cut a more dashing figure on the road with almost the same dimensions, 4,480 millimeters long, 1,855 millimeters wide, and 1,655 millimeters tall, with a 172 mm minimum ground clearance and a 2,670 millimeter long wheelbase. The exterior features of the top and local variant of the Kia Sportage included LED auto leveling headlamps, LED daytime running lights, position lights, and front fog lamps, special GT line design front and rear bumpers, silver front and rear skid plates, body colored heated side view mirrors that power adjusts and folds and integrated with turn signals, fin type antenna, and silver roof rack. The Sportage also comes with rain sensing front windshields, glossy black radiator grill, automatic rear window defogger, rear spoiler with LED high mount stop lamp, and LED rear combination lamps. The suspension system features front McPherson struts and stabilizer and rear multi-link type. The Sportage GT line rolls on 245x45R19 tires wrapped around 19-inch alloy wheels. The Hyundai Tucson CRDI GL two-wheel drive DSL is powered by the 2.0R CRDI EVGT diesel engine that generates a maximum 185 PS at 4,000 revolutions per minute and 402 Nm of torque from 1,750 to 2,750 RPM. The engine is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission. 
stopping power comes from a brake system that uses all solid discs in front and the rear. The Kia Sportage GT line is powered by a 2.0-liter inline 4-cylinders DOHC Common Rail Direct Injection EVGT diesel that generates a max 185 PS at 4,000 RPM and 400 Nm of torque from 1,750 to 2,750 RPM. The engine is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission with Shifttronic. The Tucson CRDI GL comes with Smart Key System with Push Start Button. The seats are upholstered in fabric material. The driver's seat adjusts eight ways electronically. The rear seat for three passengers splits and folds 60-40 with a fold-down center armrest with cup holders. Instrument cluster comes with a 3.5-inch mono TFT LCD with trip computer. There is an overhead console with map lamps and sunglass holder, plus a center console with cover that doubles as armrest with cup holders. Other comfort and convenient features include air conditioning with rear vents, power windows, leather wrapped steering wheel that tilts and telescopes, and comes with controls for audio and Bluetooth. Infotainment comes from a 7-inch floating type display with Bluetooth, USB, and aux-in connectivity. It also plays through six speakers. The Sportage GT line also comes with a smart key entry system with illuminated push start button. The interior features leather seats and trim and electrochromic rear view mirror. The driver gets eight-way power adjust seat with two lumbar support. The passenger also gets eight-way power adjust seat. The second row seat for three reclines, splits, and folds 60-40. The instrument cluster comes with 3.5-inch LCD display. Other cool interior stuff include foot-operated parking brake, power outlet in front and rear console, dual-zone automatic air conditioning with rear vents, cup holder, and bottle holders galore. Other convenience features include leather-wrapped steering wheel that tilts and telescopes and comes with paddle shifters and audio and Bluetooth hands-free controls. For infotainment, there is an 8-inch touchscreen that plays AM, FM radio, CD, MP3 with Bluetooth, USB and aux-in ports, and four speakers plus two tweeters. It is also compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Tucson CRDI GL, brought into the country, arrives with the best available driver assist technology and safety features. These include anti-lock brake system, electronic stability control, hill start assist control, rear parking assist system, dual front airbags, and engine immobilizer. The Kia Sportage GT line also comes with some of the latest in driver assist and safety technology. These include cruise control, ABS, ESC, HAC, downhill brake control. Also added for safety are front, side, and curtain airbags, an anti-theft system with a mobilizer. Sometimes when comparing SUVs, the specs come out almost the same and it all boils down to styling and perceptions of what marks or models convey about owners. This seems particularly true with the Tucson and the Sportage.
fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Ilustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Ilustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Ilustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph The Mitsubishi Mirage Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Toyota looks like it's trying to make up for the lost lockdown months, launching new vehicles nearly every month since restrictions were eased, and new promos and campaigns almost every week. The latest to make its digital preview is the Hilux Conquest and Cohort. Toyota Hilux has a reputation for being among the toughest and almost indestructible pickups across the globe. You see it everywhere, in news clips of disasters, in rescue missions, in war zones. The same scenes in movies, when there's a need for a tough pickup in movie scripts or in real life, but Toyota Hilux is a top of mind choice. This comes to mind as Toyota launched the new Hilux led by the local flagship pickup variant in the country, the Conquest. The top-selling pickup in the market, Toyota looks at the Conquest to lead the campaign to retain the Hilux's dominance. The Hilux is truly um, an iconic vehicle for Toyota. Locally, we have seen the Hilux evolve to be a more efficient and hardworking vehicle for Filipinos. So it's been used for city driving and off-road adventures. Uh, whether they want to work or play, the Hilux is there for them. Now on its eighth generation, the Hilux features this new um, improvement. So it further establishes its position as the country's best-selling pickup with improvements combined with the signature Toyota quality, durability, and reliability. The Conquest arrives with options for a 2.8-liter or 2.4-liter engines and as either 4x4 or a 4x2. Buyers also have the option for an automatic or manual transmission. Aside from the Conquest, Toyota also launched the new G and E variants of the Hilux. The Hilux G 2.4 comes with a manual or automatic transmission, the 2.4 E only with a manual. What differentiates the Conquest from the rest of the Hilux lineup? We have the Hilux Conquest variant and the Hilux uh, standard variants. So for the Conquest, we introduced an exclusive color. It's called Emotional Red. So when you see it, you'll feel some emotions. <laughs> Very <laughs> exciting. So this is uh, exclusive to the Conquest variants. And also uh, other specs that are exclusive to the Conquest are the bi-beam LED headlamps, 
the LED rear combination lamps in sports bar with LED lamps. The tailgate gets the signature Hilux branding with an over fender garnish and conquest decals on both sides of the cargo bed. The deck space also offers plenty of cargo room with tailgate assist and bed liner for the conquest variants. And we also applied several improvements on the engine, making the Hilux more powerful and more fuel efficient. The Toyota campaign to retain supremacy in the pickup segment does not rely solely on the Conquest and the new Hilux G&E variants. Toyota also has the J variants in both 4x4 and 4x2 guises, as well as a host of special units based on the Hilux. So aside from the Conquest, the G and the E grades, we continue to offer the Hilux J. It's the base variant in 4x4 and 4x2 options. We also have the cabin chassis and FX. Hilux FX for our fleet and business partners. And this October, we will also introduce the new variant Hilux Cargo. It's got a rear, seatless, windowless, and more affordable variant powered by the same um, 2 GP engine that powers the rest of the variants. And the new Hilux Cargo is specifically designed for the more demanding needs of mobilizing goods and services. So, yun talaga, it's the intention of why we developed um, that uh, FX cargo. Toyota is counting on the Conquest and new Hilux G&E variants to drive sales. But it also believes that the Hilux is relied upon by many for commerce and trade. So, they have other Hilux versions in the lineup. Overall, the improvements on the Hilux make it an even more fun and reliable road companion, whether for city or off-road adventures. So, as a utility vehicle for the more challenging and hard-working tasks coming our way, uh, this proves useful, especially now. Uh, we see a lot of the you need to mobilize goods and services and also transporting people become even more crucial. So we think that this pickup will play a big role in the current situation. Overall, Toyota is offering the Hilux in 13 variants, providing as many combinations and options to match as many needs, wants, and budgets, as well as colors as possible for pickup buyers. 2.8 4x4 Conquest Automatic. 1,830,000 pesos. 2.8 4x4 Conquest manual transmission, 1,755,000 pesos. 2.4 4x2 Conquest automatic, 1,455,000 pesos. 2.4 4x2 Conquest manual transmission, 1,380,000 pesos. Colors available, emotional red, super white, Gray Metallic, Attitude Black Mika, Nebula Blue Metallic, 2.4 4x2 G Automatic, 1,295,000 pesos, 2.4 4x2 G Manual Transmission, 1,220,000 pesos. Colors available, Super White, Silver Metallic, Gray Metallic Attitude, Black Mika, Crimson Spark Red Metallic, Nebula Blue Metallic, Orange Metallic, 2.4 4x2 E Manual Transmission, 1,113,000 pesos. Colors available, Super White, Silver Metallic, Gray Metallic, Attitude Black Mika, Crimson Spark Red Metallic. 2.4 4x4 J Manual Transmission, 1,148,000 pesos. 2.4 4x2 J Manual Transmission, 952,000 pesos. 2.4 4x2 FX with rear aircon, manual transmission, 1,057,000 pesos. 2.4 4x2 FX without rear air conditioning, manual transmission, 1,029,000 pesos. 2.4 4x2 cargo, manual transmission, 936,000 pesos. 2.4 4x2 cab and chassis manual transmission, 
843,000 pesos. Available colors, super white. In terms of the different variants and price range, so to suit the diverse needs um, for this pickup, both for the private use and commercial use for our paid accounts, we are offering it in 13 variants. Toyota has an open invitation to the public to check out the Hilux Conquest and other new vehicles in Toyota's extensive lineup of models. Thanks to the virtual world, we already have other options to see the product. So you can check out toyota.com.ph to know more about the specifications of the Hilux. You can also visit our virtual showroom so that you can walk around the Hilux in a virtual um, environment. You can go inside, uh, click the specs that you want to know more about. And in case you missed the launch, it is still available through our uh, social media channels on Facebook and YouTube. So hope uh, everyone can check out our website. There are other features aside from the virtual showroom. You can check out the price details. You can check out um, calculate payment, download for sure, you can submit your inquiry. So uh, we're really taking effort to make things easy and convenient for all our customers, uh, safe, you're in the safety of your home and through your mobile device you can access all this. So please come and visit our website. Toyota has just put competitors on notice that is serious about retaining dominance of the pickup market. Voting for the next Automobile of the Year is extended. To be part of the 2020-2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Just log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA 2020. Vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020 2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. Automakers are known to stick the GT tag on cars. What does this mean? GT stands for Grand Tourer or Gran Turismo. In essence, it means a GT car has been built or outfitted for high-speed performance and long-distance driving. Over the years, the GT tag became associated with high performance, premium comfort, and sporty styling. Up next is the Subaru XV. GT Edition with EyeSight. Does this Subaru deserve the GT tag? There are three variants of the Subaru XV, a compact crossover or sport utility vehicle made available in the local market. The base model XV 2.0i, the XV 2.0i S EyeSight, and the top of the line XV GT Edition 2.0 IS EyeSight. V8 
the XV GT 2.0 IS EyeSight shares the same basic unibody and powertrain as its brothers in the lineup. A 1,995cc direct injection four-cylinder boxer engine that is capable of generating 156 horsepower and 196 newton meters of torque. The engine drives all four wheels via Leaneartronic CVT and Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive system. The GT Edition shares the same roof rails and shark fin antenna, power sliding tilt adjustable glass sunroof, as well as automatic rain sensing windshield wipers as those on the XV 2.0 IS EyeSight. It also shares the same UV protection on windshield and all side windows, power folding side mirrors, and intermittent windshield wipers of both its brothers. What the top of the line XV does not share with its brothers are the GT Edition Aero Kits and Roof Spoiler, and GT Edition 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels wrapped by 225x55 R18 tires as well as the GT Edition emblems. Exterior features include LED headlamps with auto levelizer, steering responsive headlights, and halogen fog lamps in front and in the rear. Getting into the cabin of the XV 2.0 IS GT Edition reveals another obvious difference, the exclusive made for GT leather seats and trim. The steering wheel and gear shift knob are wrapped in leather with orange stitching. Also, like its brethren, the rear seat backrest splits 60-40. And the GT Edition has an 8-way power adjustable driver's seat like the middle-priced XV. The driver on the GT Edition benefits from the remote control key system, complemented by keyless access and push button start, as well as a tilt adjustable and telescopic steering wheel and paddle shifters. The high grade multi function display provides all vital information on car and engine performance. Aluminum pedals add to sporty character for the GT Edition. Other comfort and convenience features include power windows, map lights, front cup holders in the center console, and on all side door pockets. During short or long drives and hot or cold climbs, occupants benefit from the dual zone automatic air conditioning system with anti-dust filter with heater ducts for rear passengers and electric rear window defogger. For entertainment, there's an audio system with 8-inch display that has Bluetooth connectivity as well as a USB port, auxiliary input jack, and HDMI input on the center panel, allowing driver better visibility of surroundings, a rear view camera, and the GT Edition dual side view monitors. The Subaru first gained cult status for its quirky design and reputation for being fun to drive vehicles with great handling owing much to its boxer engine and symmetrical all-wheel drive technology. Obviously, the Subaru XV 2.0 IS GT Edition also has these, as well as a host of active and passive safety technology aimed at making it fun and versatile, as well as a safe crossover vehicle. This includes X mode for driving on rough, steep, and slippery conditions, hill descent control, active torque vectoring, vehicle dynamics control system, auto vehicle hold, and adaptive cruise control. Among other safety features are driver, front seat passenger, curtain and knee airbags, brake assist, electronic brake force distribution, brake override, child seat anchors, Subaru rear vehicle detection, reverse automatic parking, and EyeSight Driver Assist technology. With the added Aero Kit, the Subaru XV GT Edition with EyeSight certainly looks a lot more racy and sporty than its lesser priced brothers. For some, 
the sporty look alone could justify the Grand Tourer label. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we'll talk about shock absorbers. So this is your vehicle shock absorber. As the name implies, it absorbs the shock of the bad roads that we have here in the Philippines. Now, old timers will ask you, and then, ano ba yung shock mo? Fluid or gas? Wala nang fluid shock ngayon. They're all gas shocks. But here's the thing. Inside here is both gas and fluid. It's called gas shock because up here, there is pressurized nitrogen gas here. But the shock absorption it's still done by oil, it's still a fluid. It's just that the old, old shocks don't have any pressurized gas and it's just fluid. So now, it's both gas and fluid. All shocks right now are like that. As you can imagine, this thing goes up and down to absorb the shock. This is actually called a McPherson strut, after, named after the guy who invented it. So what that simply means is that there is a basso here where the spring sits. This bolts on to the axle and the hub, and this bolts to the chassis. So the big question is, how do you know if sirat na yung shocks mo? The easiest, fastest, and most sure way to find out, you have to take the shock out of the car to be able to tell if it's busted or not. So here we have two shocks. One is new, one is old. This one is busted, and I'll show you why. As you can see, it don't go up no more. Effectively, this thing is not absorbing any shock at all. And we compare it to a new shock. As you can see, it has to go up on its own and it has to go up pretty fast. If it doesn't go up this fast, it's also busted. Or dead or dying. New, old, dead, alive. You may have heard the old school advice also. You make kalog kalog the car to see if the shocks are okay. That is also not true, and I'll show you why. We have several cars here to demonstrate. The old school wisdom is, if it does that, that the shock is okay. No, not necessarily. Because what you're doing is just pushing down on the spring, and it just goes up. What makes the shock goes up is actually the spring. Then we have here another car. It doesn't go up or down, so what does that mean? The shock is busted? No, it's not. BMs are really like that. That's why the handling is good. Uh, here, we have a Fortuner. It bounces a lot more than the Ford Explorer. But is the shock dead? No, it's not. It's just really like that. <laughs> so that method doesn't really work. You cannot be certain if your suspension is good or bad just by doing the bounce test. No, because every car behaves differently when you bounce it. So the only real way to know if your shock is good or bad is to have it taken out and then do the press test what I just did. Ano magandang bilhin na shock? You can always always buy OEM. You can go to the casa, buy whatever that they're selling and then call it a day. It is after all the same spec as what you have. If you're looking for something cheaper, get one of these, KYB XLG. This is pretty much the same spec as the original shock, but of course at a cheaper price. And chances are, if you have a Japanese car, KYB has an application for it. So this is a front shock. This is a rear shock. This, I believe, is for a Honda Jazz. This, I believe, is for a Lancer. If you want to step up from something better, KYB also has this. It's called a new SR Special. It looks exactly the same as the shock that's going to be taken out. The big difference is what's inside here. This one will actually give a better ride than what you have because, like I said, it's a shock absorber. It's better at absorbing the shock. And there are things that make it slightly better. A bigger and fatter shaft than the original one. The piston inside here is also better than the valving is also slightly different. And this one is built to take lowering springs if your ride is lowered. Because if you put lowering springs on a OEM shock, chances are in less than a year, your shock ain't gonna work no more as well. So might as well get a set of these. And for German cars, there's only one go-to brand. It's Bilstein. That's it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So then hopefully you have now a better understanding of what your vehicle shock absorbers does and how to spot if it's busted. <laughs>